doing a reading and for some reason it cut off. So I have to start over. <laughs> but um, okay, so these are the cards that I pulled for you. And like I said in my other video, um, I'm going to be starting with the week of October 3rd, okay? So this is for the week of October 3rd. So, cr so crowning your reading and the overall message that I have for your reading, um, Cancers, is the Page of Swords in the reverse. So that's telling me that there's some kind of defensive uh, defensiveness going on um, for you. Perhaps there's some gossip going around around you. Um, this could either be um, by your from yourself um, or somebody around you. Okay, that is gossiping. Uh, yes, this reading is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, so yeah, so. This could also be somebody trying to manipulate you. Um, and this can also be like if you have some information that you're sharing with people, just know that they might not keep it private. OK, so just just notice how you're feeling around certain people in your. Um, in your in your energy here, OK, for this week. So um, in the near past we have the five of cups in the reverse so this is all about the silver linings of things and moving on and this is like hopeful okay this is showing you that you've kind of turned a corner here in how you're perceiving your situation um and kind of just seeing the silver lining and accepting that seeing the truth in this situation will put you on the right path okay to your healing and your growth which is very, um, getting a really good energy from it. With the near future, you do have a Knight of Swords here, okay? Now, this is like pushy, um, aggressive energy. So this is either toward, you know, you being very ambitious, okay? This could be pushing yourself. Um, this could be also pushing others to kind of like an extreme but this is definitely um, just letting you know that, you know, you might run out of steam here. You might feel disappointed by something um, that kind of started out strong, but then it lost momentum. So this is just kind of telling you to just stay, like take a step back and reflect and kind of tune into your intuition, um, looking within yourself here to find a way back to being productive, okay? So let's go ahead and pull some um, energy, Oracle. Oh, how you doing, Flash Mark? Thank you. I'm doing great. I hope you're doing great as well. So what do we have for my Cancers? Um, sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Just one card, please. For the week of October 3rd. We have victory. Okay, that's an awesome card to get. <laughs> Who doesn't want to be victorious, right? So I do feel like um, you seeing the silver linings in this situation or whatever it is that you're dealing with, whether it be the gossip for people around you or, um, you know, people trying to manipulate you, whatever it is, you are, you will be successful um, and that you will achieve something here. So I feel like you're going to have this inner change, okay, that you've been exerting some, some energy towards and you're going to feel like accomplished, okay? And don't, don't necessarily make this a, like a material thing. Like I said, this could be victory for kind of everything that's going on in your life right now that you're seeing as a challenge. All right, let's pull some Arcana. You may be dealing with either an Aries or a Capricorn. We also have Libra.
So we have the Ceres. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. We have the second house, which I believe is ruled by Taurus. And we have the seventh house, okay, which I believe is Libra again. Okay. So the energy here with Ceres, um, one second, let me find it. Okay, Ceres is the mother. Ceres is the mother, okay? It rules nurturing, abundance, unconditional love, as well as rage, grief, loss, and beauty. So this is showing that things are abundant in your life at the moment, okay? And the potential for reaching your goals here is at a peak. You just need to be focused and not let minor distractions get in the way of that. Okay, or maybe influence your decisions. Okay, so, you know, if there's some people in your life that are maybe pulling you off the path that you're on, or maybe trying to change your path, don't do not let that influence you. Okay, because you know what's best for you, even if it doesn't make sense to anybody else. Um, I feel like you might be going through a low emotional period, but do your best to just appreciate the everyday here. Um, nourish your body, you know, be creative, you know, even make some art, whatever it is that's going to bring some kind of contentment in your life. Go on walks, reconnect with nature, spend time with people that you actually enjoy spending time with, okay? Because anything material is not going to serve you, okay? It's just going to be like an emotional binge that you're going to eventually come come off of, Okay? So, and then we have the second house, and the second house ruled by Taurus. Um, now, this could be about something in work. This could be something that you value. This can be about indulgence, like I was saying, and also materialism, okay? So, maybe this is kind of telling you to kind of get your finances in order here, and maybe you are kind of just indulging on material things to kind of like fill a void that you have right now. Um, but do, do know that a change is coming when it comes to cash flow. Okay. So it's going to be a good change. And I feel like if you're working with other people here, just know that, the, you know, it's not a one size fits all. And just to kind of let other people do, um, things the way that they feel they need it to be done because you know you might do something and it might not resonate with somebody else and vice versa then we have the um seventh house of libra and this is all about balancing okay this is about evaluating this is all about shifting love relationships friendships and behavior so i think you do need to evaluate um maybe some of the relationships that you have currently whether it be friendships or um, love relationships, okay? Um, you know, like, are you holding on to people that you've kind of outgrown? Are you, like, a partnership at work? Has it shifted into something more than that? Um, you know, because we are all evolving, and as you evolve, your relationships either evolve with you or they don't, okay? So I feel like... Maybe you need to define some clear-cut boundaries here. And by doing so, it's not going to make you a bad person at all. Okay, and this can also mean maybe just joining some kind of a, like a new um, networking thing that will bring you some more um, social connections. What do we have for my Cancers? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please.
Again, take these messages as they resonate, guys, okay? Please, please, please like this video um, and subscribe to my YouTube channel as I can't stress enough, enough how much that really helps me, okay? I do appreciate you guys. Ooh, is that three? Oh, interesting. Okay. Hmm. All right, so first one we have is boat. This is receiving what you need. This is progression, arriving, moving on, and possibly having closure issues. We have heart with a key. Welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together, and perfectness. And then we have I like you. Okay, so this is someone likes you. Romance is blooming, fun flirting, and wanting to date. Um, you could have someone in your circle that likes you more than what they let on. Or this could be you liking someone. Okay. Um, or possibly just wanting to get on the scene. And then uh, with this heart with a key, I do feel like this is just letting you know just to open your heart to the possibilities. Okay. Opening, not closing yourself off to anything. And then boat, this is receiving what you need, arriving, moving on, and closure issues. So you guys are wanting to move on here, okay, um, from a situation. But you might be having some closure issues, like, you know, I, I need closure and this and yada, yada, yada. But little do you know that you're, you give yourself the closure that you need. Don't ever expect it from the other person. You need to give it to yourself, okay? All right. But this is this is progression forward. This is good. Okay. So let's pull three soul journey oracle cards for my cancers. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, please. One more. All right, we have surrender. I can release my need to control. We have humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. And we have failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So I do feel like you guys are surrendering your situation. Um, possibly with the person in question or maybe even surrendering some habits. Okay. That you, some old habits. Um, and then we have humor. And I feel like this is kind of like choosing to you know, go out on the scene and have fun because I feel like you guys have kind of just been locking yourselves, you know, in your house, in your homes and not really, not really going out and having fun. You know, that's why I pulled that, um, that dating card. So I do feel like maybe that's something that you should look into. And then failure, I'm feeling that you guys might think that, you know, not necessarily that you are a failure, but that your relationship was a failure and it's kind of weighing heavy on yourself but just know that nothing in life is a failure okay everything is meant to happen and everything is meant to be with divine timing and situations that are supposed to happen will happen okay but you just need to have faith faith over failure okay cancers that's what i have for you I love you guys so much. I want to thank you again for tuning in and watching my videos. Um, and please, like I said, if you can help me out just by liking my videos once I upload them to YouTube, that would be great. And then, of course, subscribing as well. Um, I hope you guys have a great week, and I will see you soon. Bye.